Solvete discipuli, this is help for your Latin studies in Henley, first year Latin, exercise 119. Um, if you need a refresher a little bit about the, what we've learned so far in lesson nine um, about verbs, first conjugation verbs, I would encourage you to check out the video on, less, on exercise sorry, 118. Um, where I did a, a real quick just overview review of what we've learned so far and how that might help us um, to complete the exercises that we're doing. So let's look, at, let's look at exercise 119, which tells us, one, to point out the imperfects by identifying the tense sign, two, to point out the third person plural verbs by identifying the final personal sign, and three, to translate. Okay, so let's talk about signs, because that's something I didn't discuss in detail in the last video. Um, so in our most recent reading on pages 108, 109, it talks about the, uh, the sign given in the imperfect tense. Okay, the ending contains a tense sign, ba, or B-A, and then they, they spell it out for you here, lauda, ba, which is always a sign of the imperfect tense. So if you have a verb ending that has BA followed by a personal sign, and the personal signs we've learned before are the final endings, O, S, T, must, tis, and. So here we have, and sometimes M in the first person singular, okay? So here we have that ba, M, ba, S, ba, T, Ba, mus, ba, tis, and ba, nt. Okay, so the personal sign is the O or M, S, T, mus, tis, nt, and the imperfect sign is ba, 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 ba. So the first thing that it's asking us to do is point out the imperfects by identifying the tense sign, ba. So I just want to go through for number one and look for all of the numbers that include that ba before the personal sign. So here it's number one, I have bant. There's no ba here, no ba. Number four, no ba. Number six, no ba, no ba. Number nine, and keep going. I'm not gonna do them all. All right, number two, it says point out the third person plural verbs by identifying, by identifying the final personal sign. So we're talking third person plural. Third person plural is unt. Same thing here, third person plural, unt. So I'm looking at the last two letters now of every verb here for that NT. All right, so number two, Identify the third person plural verbs. I see NT in one. Nope. I see it in three. Nope. Nope. I see it in six. I see it in seven. And so forth. So you're just going to go through and look for that personal sign, the last letter or group of letters that would be either O or M for first person singular, S, T, must, tis, or unt. That's the personal sign. And again, looking for that tense sign to make it imperfect would be ba before the personal sign. Okay, so then three, translate. Now we've got a mix, just keep in mind, we have a mix of both present tense verbs and imperfect tense verbs. And so some of them will be translated as imperfect tense, meaning that continuing action in the past, and some of them will be translated in the present tense, meaning it's happening now. So let's just do a couple of those. So for number three, or the third step, number one of exercise 119, opugna bunt. Well, I have to look back at my vocabulary because I don't have this one memorized. I think it's attack, but let's just be sure. Opugno. Here it is. Yes, I was right. Attack or assault. So, opugno, 
opugnare, opugnawe, nawi, opugnatus. In this case, it's saying opugnabant. So it has the ba, imperfect um, tense sign, and it has the nt, third person plural, personal sign. So it means they were attacking. All right. They were attacking. And if I just take a moment to confirm that this is past ongoing. Yes. All right, let's look at the next one, number two, portat. Portat comes from our verb porto, portare, portawi, portatum, or portatus, meaning to carry, I carry, to carry, and it has no imperfect sign, and it has the third person singular, at that T sign. It has the third person singular ending, so it would be he, she, it carries, or we could translate it he, she, it is carrying, or he, she, it does carry. I'm just gonna write, I'm gonna pick a pronoun there and say he carries, happening now. Let's do one more. Pugnant. <clears throat> All right, pugno is a new vocabulary word, so let me just be sure. means fight. Okay, and this says pugnant, so it has the NT ending, but it does not have the ba, the imperfect sign, so it's going to be a present tense verb. And the NT is a third person, so up here, it's a third person plural, pugnant, they fight. Okay, so just for that step number one, again, you wanna go through and identify all of those imperfect signs, the BA. For step number two, you want to go through and identify all those third person singular personal signs, the NT at the end. And then for step three, just keep working through the list of words and translate them according to their person, number, and tense. And I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a great day.